race number nine on the program. We've got a newcomer arriving in Hong Kong, having his first start after winning three in Australia. It's a class three over the 1,200, and that horse is presence. He was IndyCar for Anthony Cummings, won over 1,200, 1,100, and also a 1,400-metre uh, race at listed level at Randwick prior to arriving. He's had two trials at Chungfa. When you believe on the class drop, raced wide last time, draws the inside. Storm Warnings placed his last two. Mighty Valor, beaten favourite behind Dublin Star, but was showing lameness signs after the race. War of Courage, back in form, better draw, second behind Speedy Mouse last start. Drops of God, we'll hear from John Size in a moment. Best effort from Fearless Fire at Sha Tin in his career so far. And the 13 Kaishan Dragon has the tongue tie coming off Tom in the ninth. And the speed in this race is uh, set up by uh, Mighty Valor and War of Courage. I think Mighty Valor will probably try and go on with it uh, here for Matthew Pooney. Had an excuse last time out, pulled up uh, lame right to four. But when he gets uh, to the front, he can be dangerous. Uh, when you believe's drawn nicely down in uh, gate number one, he should be a lot handier than he was last time out. And Drops of God should be nicely positioned uh, from gate number four. Rock Your Heart's the odd one out there for Jack Wong from gate number ten. Uh, you've got Royal Bomb. Co-partner Ambition's got a tricky stall again, but he was able to overcome ten when winning last time out. And the new Summer uh, presence to uh, get back uh, there for uh, Frankie Lawrence, uh, Blake Shin with the hood on. Drops of God, he's likely going to be the race favourite on his last start third. It was a big effort and his trainer is John Size. Drops of God beaten last time but certainly not disgraced. A terrific performance. Yeah, he raced well. He, he um, covered a bit of ground and uh, he fought on OK so we couldn't be too tough on him, you couldn't uh, judge him too critically on that performance and if he gets a nice run, well it might be a different story. His recovery rate after that race being a tough run, was it good? I think he's fine, he's had three weeks to get over it so uh, uh, you know, I'm sure he'll run well again. He looks a versatile horse as well, he's been ridden forward and back in his trials and race day so uh, Joe can position him up, up where he wants to I be. I think so, he's got a, a good gait so uh, you know, he'd probably be in the first four or five and one off the fence or something. You've had a great crop of first starters this season, are we expecting to see any more before the end of this season? No, I'm not, but uh, uh, I'm always open to a, a pleasant surprise, I'll take that if it's on. So drops of God and he will be partnered by Joe Marira again. His race rivals, uh, Tom, they include the horses in this replay, War of Courage and Storm Warnings both going well. War of Courage be pleasing man for a man because he's right back in form. Yeah, he's always honest to this horse, uh, fifth, fifth, third, a winner and then second at his last start here behind Speedy Mouse and the form probably out of this race not too bad. Uh, Storm Warnings, he's been also consistent without winning without winning from his uh, 10 starts, but he's been there or thereabouts, and he will no doubt be somewhere near the pace in this race as well. But I've certainly got War of Courage in there, Paul. Yeah, I've definitely got War of Courage in there. I just don't like the way Storm Warnings races. He gets his head up and carries on. Now, he, he's definitely got the ability. He just needs to put it all together on the day. This horse, Paul, has looked sharp in two starts. He was just disappointing in the run in between. Might have been the second up syndrome, but a very slick last 400 metres from co-partner Ambition. Yeah, look, he's drawn a little bit awkwardly again, so he's just going to get a little bit further back. He's going to find it a little bit tougher, I think, this race here in Class 3. So, look, I, he was right on the cusp for me, but I didn't quite get him in. Yeah, I didn't quite get him in either, but set a really strong turn of foot the last 200 metres. He's worn down an outside of the day day Rich and then gone past Smart Wong Choi, who hasn't uh, won, so I just haven't quite got him in this uh, time. I think there's a few other further, a few others further up in the order that uh, can uh, test him here. We'll see Smart Wong Choi earlier in the day, and a trial here, Tom, from Royal Bomb down the straight. Yeah, Royal Bomb. Now, I think he's uh, got uh, a part to play in this. I didn't quite get him in the numbers, but he's a horse that has won here from his eight starts and placed on a, a couple of occasions. He was on speed in this uh, recent uh, barrier trial. Wasn't clicked up too much over the final stages. Just a little negative I found here, Paul, was gate number 12. Yeah, that's why he didn't get him for me as well. I just thought, I'm not sure what sort of run he's going to get from that barrier number 12 as well. And just thought he might have been going slightly better earlier in the season. It's good field, Paul. Who did you settle on? Yeah, really good field here for um, race number nine. Now, I've gone with uh, Drops of God. Uh, I think he's going to be very tough to beat this horse and going very well and did have a slight excuse second up. Uh, when you believe, as a horse we haven't talked about, he's been downgraded. He's got barrier number one with Zack aboard. I think he's going to run uh, well, and he's a decent price at the moment. A war of courage, he's been uh, very uh, consistent. He's hard to leave out. And then I'm a single man. Uh, look, he, he really caught the eye when he stormed home late there behind a... Uh, Drops a guide in that race when he ran fourth. It's whether he can put two together, but I didn't want to completely leave him out. 10 3 8 7.
Yeah, drops of God on top. I think he'll be tough to beat. He won't receive a scruffy run in transit this time round like he did uh, last start. Mighty Vela, he'll be up on the pace, and uh, he's a horse that can uh, dictate from there, and I think will give you a good sight for Matthew Poon and Ricky. You excuse last time out. Lame uh, right uh, four, but uh, look, he's had a quiet barrier trial since and was under a nice hold there. War of Courage hard to leave out, and also I've got When You Believe in on the downgrade from gate number one. So 10, 6, 8, and 3. And Drops of God has come up the early favourite for the race to make amends from a good defeat, if there is such a thing, with that last start 30s at 2.6 to win race number nine.